can only call this far And who'll show the moon Well, I have till evening Whose words alone can catch a falling star like that we're $19 away from being three-fourths of the way open. So <coughs> praise the Lord for that. Wow. <laughs> Talking about waking you up. <laughs> Thank you, Brooke, so much. I know that my Redeemer lives. And the best way we know is what? He lives.
lives within us. Oh, God bless. Have you had a great Easter so far this morning? I trust that you have. Because no matter what you do, no matter how grumpy you might want to be, or unhappy you may want to be, he's still alive. <laughs> Amen. And he's going to be alive forever, ever more. Praise God for that. We're excited about what he has done for all of our lives and what he's wanting to do for each and every one of us. Joan, I want to ask you to bring me something right underneath my wallet right there. You ever went hunting and forgot to load your bullets? <laughs> no. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I loaded up one but forgot to load the other one. <clears throat> Soldiers, seals, or stones. Neither one of those three could keep him. In the tomb. What a wonderful day this has been, has it not? Oh my goodness. I'm excited about celebrating Jesus as the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And He's alive, not just today, but forever and ever and ever. But, you know, really? We celebrate that every Sunday, don't we? Celebrate it as we gather together with fellow Christians around the Lord's table. We take the bread and we drink the cup. We not only proclaim that we believe in Jesus, but we believe that He died for us and that He also is coming again. So, we serve a risen Savior. We don't just remember a risen Savior. We serve a risen Savior and we look forward to that day when we all shall stand in His presence, don't we? Oh, every day of my life that becomes more and more obvious for me that I just can't wait. I just can't wait to see Him. Life is so filled with problems and heartaches and disappointments and people are just so hard to work with anymore. And it's just very, very obvious that folks just have a hard time loving one another. Amen. Just a hard time loving one another. And so it makes us, like uh, the Apostle Paul said, I fought a good fight. I finished the race. I've kept the faith. And now I want what's in store for me. <laughs> All I want is what i got coming to me. I'm excited about it. You know, as much as I love life, I just can't help but long for that day to be with Jesus. Can't wait to see my dad. Can't wait to see Joan's dad. Um, can't wait to see all of those folks that have gone on before us. But more importantly, I can't wait to see Jesus. I'll probably have to run past all of those. I'll, I'll smile and say hi, but I want to run and see Jesus. Amen. But I won't have to run far because he's there to greet us, everyone, at the door. And uh, he loves us so much. I don't want to look upon death with fear. I want to look upon death with happiness. Now, I love life. Don't get me wrong. And I'm not looking out to die today. But, you know, should it come for me, then it's only going to be glory, hallelujah. Because uh, that's what Christians have in store for them. And all of our bodies will be changed that day. But in preparing for this sermon this week, I... I couldn't help but remember some of the people, some of the folks that we served in past churches. They've gone on to be with the Lord now. But I just couldn't help remember their lives and the events surrounding their lives. And 